God bless every person that's hearing this program today. In Jesus' name, you're hearing the program, Gain to Know Jesus. And my name is Harris Kakalidis. In today's program of Gain to Know Jesus, we will take just a little break from studying the Gospel of Mark to face a problem many are having in churches. And that is the King James problem. You may have heard a preacher or a church member say that King James Bible is the only Bible for the English speaking people and that God has preserved his word in it. God has used the King James Bible throughout its creation just as God has used many other Bible translations. But no Bible translation is the word of God. Now. Do I believe the Bible as the Word of God? Yes. Do I believe a translation as the Word of God? No. The Word of God is what was written in the original manuscripts, in the original language. We do not have the original manuscripts, but we do have copies of them, dating very close to the time of the originals. So we do have the Word of God <clears throat> as far as it accurately translated. Does a translation contain the Word of God? And the answer is yes, as far as it is translated accurately. Is the King James accurately translated through? No, it is not. But does it contain the Word of God? Yes, in those parts where it is accurately translated. There are many mistakes in the King James Bible, and many of them are doctrinal mistakes. For example, it is the only translation that mentions Easter in Acts 12 verse 4 which no one kept in the first century. The right word which it should have used was Passover according to the Greek because Herod was not a Christian and he wasn't keeping Easter. You only keep Easter if you believe in the resurrection of Jesus and if you believe in Jesus. Herod was not a Christian. Another mistake, a doctrinal mistake, it teaches soul sleep in 2 Peter 2 9 to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Well, I thank God for the New King James, which corrects it and many other translations and states to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. The King James Bible also teaches homosexuality. In Luke 17 verse 34, I tell you in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, the other shall be left. If this is the rapture, then it means that practicing homosexuality will not prevent you from going to heaven when the Lord comes. In the Greek, the word men is not in the text. So, the King James translation is wrong there. This translation of King James also teaches us that Jesus does not give us rest. Hebrews 4 verse 8 For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterwards have spoken of another day? The word that is written in this verse as Jesus in other translations is rightly translated as Joshua. The King James Bible also teaches that Jesus was made, that he was created. Revelation 3.14 these things saith the Amen, the faithful and true, the beginning of the creation of God. In the Greek, that word beginning, in other tr translations like the NIV, is translated as the ruler of God's creation. So it, it speaks of Jesus not being created. But yet the King James says the beginning of God's creation. And there are some translations that say that as well. But nevertheless, the King James has the beginning and it's translated wrong because Jesus does not have a beginning. This translation of the King James also teaches the Holy Spirit is in it. If you read Romans 8.16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Romans 8.26, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit him itself 
maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be altered. And First Peter one eleven, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that shall follow. The King James is the number one Bible of the cults as well. Jehovah Witnesses, when they first began, used the King James Bible and even printed them for a time since they could get from it many of their doctrines like so sleep, Jesus being made and the Holy Spirit being an active force, a it. It is the number one Bible used among Mormons. And it was the basis of Joseph Smith's own translation. It was the number one Bible among Adventists for a long time. For they can use it to defend their famous doctrine of the cleansing of the heavenly sanctuary. Which they find in Daniel 8.14. Which King James wrongly translates the Hebrew into days when it should have been translated into morning and evenings we're gonna leave it here but I'm just here telling you I'm not saying the King James is thoroughly bad but I am saying that is not a perfect translation and it has many mistakes but it has the Word of God in there and it should be respected but nevertheless it should not be said the King James Bible is the only Bible for the English speaking person because what you're doing is when the Roman Catholic Pope did um, when they said that you can only read the Bible in Latin you cannot read the Bible in English or translate the Bible in English and persecution came from it and in many respects modern translations are being persecuted badly by the King James only followers where if they were only able to see the mistakes in the King James Bible they wouldn't be persecuting other Bible translations if not they'll be seeing the other Bible translations as a means of helping them better understand the Word of God and that's what they should do we should use other translations besides the King James so we could have a full understanding of the Word of God God bless you and I'll see you next program of Gain to Jesus where we'll study Mark chapter 3 Jesus faces the Pharisees again about the Sabbath in the synagogue. Bye. If you enjoy this program, feel free to make a copy and give it to a friend. And that way they will get to know Jesus as well. Bye.